this is an error sound problem that is being emitted by a Lenovo Tempa T470S and in this video we're gonna look at ways of how we can troubleshoot this problem we're focusing on how we can solve the problem forever so that it doesn't happen again Apollo diversity solutions to excellency you are welcome to this channel the Lenovo ThinkPad laptop and Think Center computer or rather desktop always emit various sounds with various codes and uh, the only way or rather the easiest way of how you can differentiate these sounds is by using a Lenovo, uh, a Lenovo PC diagnostic tool which is always uh, in most cases you can download it if you have uh, a phone or rather a mobile phone which uses an Android operating system you can always uh, download this Lenovo PC diagnostic tool you just go to simply go to your Google Play Store and download something like that, the Lenovo PC diagnostic tool. Uh, but in case you are using a different computer or rather you are having a different laptop, it's always there in the applications. You can always get um, get that application on the Lenovo support uh, website. So what we do? We go to our Google Play Store. Uh, download the app in case you don't have it then uh, for those who have it you can always just uh, open this menu and then look through first uh, the first option we have is a think station code second we have a think pad code and this third one we have the manual code entry in case you have you already know the code or you've ever used that code you can always just punch it in to the code so in this case we're having a, a think pad laptop so we can choose the think point code which can be generated and when you reach here you can see either you choose to acquire code and uh, if I may switch it on it gives me a sound and I click on or rather press acquire and in this case it will give me the error code which is 001 error code 001 and uh, the description of the error code is uh, platform reset and the asserted implication so the actions that we are supposed to be doing we are supposed to remove all the power resource uh, which is the power AC or rather the power AC adapter removable battery the coin cell battery that is the CMOS battery and then if your computer has a built-in battery reset the computer by inserting a straight paper clip into the emergency reset hall, waiting for one minute, then reconnect all the power resources and replace the system uh, board. So now that we know what to do, let's just dig in and see how we can troubleshoot this problem, me and you, Apollo diversity solutions to excellency. Let's go. Now that we know what we are supposed to be doing, get after getting all the information of the tool, rather the application, uh let's let's do the directive and see how we're supposed to troubleshoot this so we, we asked if i'm to read through we are supposed to start by removing all the power resources with the power code disconnecting off the power code or rather the adapter charger then removing all the batteries which are connected to this machine now for this laptop the battery is uh, an inbuilt battery rather it's an inner battery so we have that meaning that we have to uh we have to first uh, unscrew and remove the cover of the laptop and then we get the battery off and now the second step uh, that we are being told is to uh, remove the coin battery also which is the CMOS battery and uh, it's also embedded inside so meaning either way we have to open up the laptop and have access to these uh, pieces that are required to be first removed as we proceed before we do the reset let's first remove that so for this particular laptop it has one two three four five it has five screws that we need to unscrew so let's start by unscrewing this first one we go to the second one the third one here The fourth one, 
then the fifth one here. Using our Phillips screwdriver, we can always uh, unscrew there. Then we use this as our pressure tool to remove the cover. So on opening up, on, on opening the removing the cover, we need to first get disconnect the battery, then get it out. And uh, for this particular laptop, Lenovo laptop, which is the T470s, it has uh, the battery has this screw here, and then this other screw, which we need to remove. So on removing the second screw, it has a. Uh, this is where it connects the battery, so we can just flip, flip, open it, and remove. Now we have disconnected this battery of the battery, so rather off the board. Now we need to get the second battery, which is this one. Now this this particular laptop has two inbuilt batteries, but uh, we have so far removed one. Now we need to remove the second one which is this one so it has two double batteries and uh, for this it also has uh, one, two, three screws and this is where it connects to the motherboard so let's remove the first screw and then the second screw and then the third screw So once we are done, we can always remove the battery, the second battery, which is this one, of the board. Now, this is the CMOS battery that we need to remove so that we make it lose some little memory. So I will disconnect it, disconnect it gently. Now that we have now that we have disconnected all the power ba uh, batteries and uh, all the power source, sources in the uh, laptop, we can then proceed to reset our laptop, and uh, we can only do that by uh, pressing use, uh, using a paper clip by pressing uh, into the emergency reset hole. Uh, so if I'm to get my paper clip here, for example, this will act as my paper clip. I'm supposed to reset the laptop using the emergency reset hole. Now, this emergency reset hole is uh, this one here. Hope you can see. It's this one here. Oh, if I'm to show it from this angle, it is this one here. So, meaning I need to first cover this temporarily. Cover the laptop temporarily. And then reset for using my paper clip I press for one minute so let's count after one minute and then we proceed so let me just skip this for one minute Once the one minute is done, we can then remove the paper clip and then try to reconnect everything. We try to reconnect everything. We 
we'll try to reconnect all the batteries. So let's first put our oh, back our CMOS battery. Then we connect our this bigger battery. So put into mind that uh, when the batteries are dead, this you can already you are always bound to hear that uh, error message. So let's put back our first battery, which has uh, three screws. So I'll put this first one, put the second one, and then the third one in the middle here. Then also put the second one. Put the second battery here. So the first screw, put it back here. And get the second screw. Also put it back in its position so once we are done we can then put our cover back and then tighten the screw press the cover as you tighten the screw Once we are done, we can then connect our power cord and uh, try to power on the machine to see how it behaves. So uh, I press the power button, which is, uh, I switch it on. And this time round, it won't give us that sound. This time round, it will not give us that sound. It will give us that uh, the Lenovo start screen, uh, or rather the Lenovo logo, start logo and we shall proceed. It won't give us that uh, error sound. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Catch you soon into the next video.